what yeah, are let's... we? What are we gonna talk about, man? So, uh, you if you for? recall, last time I was here, we built a, a design system for front end horse. Yeah. And I thought maybe we could make a spooky theme for oh. said uh, design system. Whoa! I just spooky. pushed the spooky button to let everyone know that I'm I'm spooked out. I'm super spooked. <laughs> So yeah, I'm man. sure I'm sure like most normal people you have that thing already like queued up uh to do npm start. Uh yes, of course. Everyone in chat also has that and we're all uh simultaneously ready, I know. Uh random font sizes to be spooky. Nice. Um so I've got uh FH yeah, I've got it all queued up. What do you want right me to to Let's do, do here? Uh npm start on that. And is this an an 11D project by chance? This is this is an 11D site, yes. Awesome. Uh, so, let me, so oh, I, I hit I hit a button. I, oops. I'm trying to fix the camera. Super smooth. Whoa, there's ghosts in the machine. <laughs> so um, I think this should open your browser automatically to the site. There we are. Uh, so then, if you click on the horse link up at the top, we, you remember we built this uh, kind of static version of the. Uh, yes. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, the front end horse homepage. Yeah. Uh, so let's make a, a spooky theme. Awesome. Uh, first of all, let's go into our code base again, okay. real quick. And um, in uh, SRC uh, assets scss, uh, there's a file called fs scss. We're going to duplicate that. Okay. And uh -huh. uh, we'll call this version fs dash spooky. Duplicate file or directory? Is, is that That's what I clicked? That's the one. All yeah, right. Yeah. You told me to install this plugin, and I've never yeah. used it before. Um, and then just... I should call it what? Uh, FS-spooky. Ooh, that's... Yeah. Whoa, spooky. So what this is doing is basically it's just pulling in all of our uh, all of our SAS, okay. uh, starting with like some functions, uh, some, some icons, and then the third uh, row is tokens. We're going to copy that line and uh, just add another one below it. Uh, that is, uh, we'll call that uh, theme spooky, theme dash spooky instead of tokens. Okay. So, so it'll be abstract theme, yep. spooky. theme spooky. Okay, cool. Uh, and so now this is going to be looking for a file called uh, theme spooky in the abstracts folder. So we have to create that. Sounds so good. Uh, yep, right there. So we'll do underscore uh, theme dash spooky dot scss. Cool. Okay. And so now basically what's happening is like we're uh, that file that's pulling in all the things, it's pulling in our, our existing tokens and we're going to create new tokens that will layer on top of that to create our theme. And so uh, the last thing we need to do is we need to go into uh, our includes directory. There is uh, a towards the top underscore includes. Uh, go into the base uh, NJK. This is our template and on line 14, we want to uh, change that style sheet name. Uh, just add fs uh, dash spooky on the end of there and okay. save that. Nice. So now when we make changes to our tokens file, uh, uh, we'll see those changes on our site. OK. Um, so let's go back to uh, the browser. OK. And we'll uh, uh, go back to the horse. Uh, there you go. And let's inspect the body so we can like grab this color uh you want to like highlight the body element yeah there we go got it and then uh i can't really see yeah here we go uh if you click on the background color the little box yeah you'll get like a color picker right and so you can just take the circle and drag it down to like the the black part and let's get like a not quite like jet black but like you know a nice spooky black color I've been so I've in preparation for this stuff. I've been doing like dark purples. It'd be cool if we did that. Yeah. Kinda well, like a... we're we're gonna add another purple later, Ooh, so you might nice. want to. I'm make I'm it up. I'm moving in on Ben's but it's, territory. I'm continuing. It's your webs. Be... It's your website, Alex. Thanks, I'm not buddy. Gonna judge. Uh, so then what we can do is if you uh, hold down Shift and click on that uh, that the box again, okay. uh, it will convert that to whatever. So we can Ooh. make that uh, HSL. Let's grab this HSL. Awesome. Uh, value and uh, in our theme spooky file, we're gonna create a token uh, just dollar sign spooky dash black. Uh, so dollar sign. Yep, we're using uh, SAS variables rather than uh, CSS. Uh, cool. to, uh, what can we use? Uh, okay, so uh, what else? Uh, 
created the the thing. Okay, so nothing nothing's going to happen on the site there because we've right. the way we've created our tokens is in like these three layers, right? And so we have these uh, contextual tokens. So if you click on the uh, regular tokens file just below that in the, in the code, you'll see yeah. kind of how we've we've laid this out originally. And if we go down to the uh, contextual tokens right there, we've got a uh, a token called uh, color background default, ah. right? And so we can snag that and copy that into uh, theme spooky and replace color yellow 100 with spooky black. Let's and uh, once we save that, uh, it should yeah uh, refresh. Should be so this is the new there. site now. That's a new color, right? So nice. uh, so we can't really read our body text now. So right. uh, let's add another token, and we'll call this uh, color text default. You can just add it right under there. And uh, because our previous background color was color yellow 100, we'll we'll change the text to that. So we're essentially just inverting those colors. Nice. Perfect. Nice. Uh, so let's make like a new, uh, a spookier orange color for our brand, something like okay. my hat, right? Nice. Um, so let's, we can inspect the, uh, inspect the, let's start with the headline, uh, the techniques to get you galloping. Okay. And uh, if we go into that uh, color box again, the cool thing here is you can see it shows you the contrast ratio. So that'll oh. help us pick a color that's, when you're picking a foreground color that's on a background color, it'll show you the contrast ratio. So we can pick like a, uh, you know, kind of like a, a uh, whatever. It's your website, as I like to say. <laughs> uh, but like a, you know, pretty saturated uh, orange color. Yeah. Um, does this take into account, and I don't know if this is not the right question, uh, does that mm -hmm. take into account the size of the text or no? It is not. Um, okay. But it, if you, essentially the rule is like uh, if the, like the, the, you want four and a half for double A, right? Uh, unless it's over, I think, 18 pixels, okay. uh, in which case you can go down to 3.0, um, which is why we actually we have two colors, two different colors, if you remember, of our of our brand color. So right. what we want to do is we want to add a couple tokens, color text brand, uh, or actually, yeah, uh, sorry, okay. uh, we want the spooky orange first. Cool. I did you were right. That. You were on the right track. Awesome. And then we'll set a uh, color text brand to spooky orange. Okay, so it's going to be a contextual or at least a yep. bit more. Um, yep. Cool. And then we also have color text brand large. And we'll set that to spooky orange as well. All right. All right. Okay, so. And so now, changed. like our. Yeah. yeah, our nav and our headline is now uh, orange, right? So now we yeah. have some background colors we want to change. Uh, so what we want to do is, uh, we want to add a color background brand light to our tokens. Okay. Color background, uh, brand light. Mm -hmm. cool. And then, uh, set that to spooky orange. Okay. Nice. There you go. And so since our uh, our original component tokens, because the way we ordered it, like we can't we can't set spooky orange and then and then have like uh, the component tokens, like a button background color, inherit that because it was called earlier. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. We basically have to redeclare button background color in our tokens. Okay. So this is like a uh, these these color ones are contextual, and then the button one would be a uh, a component token. Is that so above we'll set, or below? We'll, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I mean, it kind of matters, but yeah. <laughs> we probably want it at the bottom, actually, oh, now yeah, that cool. I'm thinking about it. But we want to set that. Instead of setting that to spooky orange, we want to set that to uh, color background brand light. Cool. And that so, should update our button. So that references this, and then this references spooky orange. Spooky orange, here. that's Got right. It. We got some layers. Uh, so now we got our button. So nice. there's also like our, our form border. We could do that, but I'm going to skip that for now so we can kind of uh, get on with the, the juicier yeah. stuff. So uh, I think we have a problem with our contrast here with the orange and the white. So what mm -hmm. we want to do is maybe set that to um, to our spooky black. Okay. Um, and so we can add another token called color text inverse. Okay. And we'll set that to spooky black. Cool. 
cool. Oh, it's cool. already there. Nice. Yep. And then uh, like you can see our arrow icons are like inverted. Yeah. So uh, we can add a couple more tokens. Uh, icon, uh, uh, icon arrow color. And set that to color yellow 100. And these are the ones that we defined before when we first made this. That's all, right. All the design tokens and everything. Yep. But then we also want icon arrow color inverse. Ah, uh, okay. Which is spooky black. So essentially we're inverting these because we're swapping the the foreground and the background. God. How are we looking on time here? Uh, we got three to four minutes. Okay, I think we're we're getting close. Uh yeah. so let's see, what else? Uh let's make the uh, the recent article section a little more spooky. Okay. Uh so let's inspect the uh, the blue background and we'll make that a, like a nice purple color. Uh, recent. There we go. Yep. And okay, then uh, click on that this. blue background. So kind of just shift this over to like that. Perfect. Yep. All right. And then I'll do the shift click trick. It's fun to there say. You go. Um, and, and what uh, are we calling this? We'll call that spooky purple. Okay. <laughs> Keep keep it uh keep it on theme here. Yeah, why why how did I not have why, that? Why why change it up now? Cool. Uh, and so now we want to add a color background accent, and we'll color. set that to spooky purple. And then I think we it hasn't changed. We it's actually okay. that's actually um lives in a component token. So we want to change. Uh, we want to add a component token called recent color background and change that uh, set that to color background accent i love that um vs code's aware of all my tokens right or or, or rather of all my sas variables that's yeah. just really handy nice awesome so one last thing we will create a uh another token uh oh wait we have to we have to come up with a color so highlight the uh the the recent articles headline okay and let's p pick like a, a bright, slimy green color for that one. <laughs> there you oh, go. Nice. Perfect. And we'll call that, uh, we'll just call that spooky green. Sounds good. Uh, let me click out of it. And then uh, we'll create a token called color text accent inverse. Perfect, and set that to spooky green. Let's see see how it looks. Let's refresh just to make sure we got Look at it. That. Yeah. So we we spent like wow. fifteen minutes. We did like fifteen lines of SAS, and we have like a whole new theme for our site. Wow. Uh, let's cap it off. Uh, and the other thing is we haven't touched any CSS or any HTML to this point, right? Yeah. Um, but we're gonna change that now. Go into. Uh, awesome. Your Just source super folder. Quick. Jack, Jack yep. Watson, thank you for that sub. Really appreciate it. Good, good to see you. Um, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Jack's here. Awesome. Jack's here, right? Um, go into uh, pages. Uh, Thanks for the rage, Jacob. Down, down towards the bottom. Sorry. Just uh, no worries. lots of people coming through. I love it. Yep. Uh, and go in a horse. Cool. And then on line 33, 33. we're going to awesome. change that image name from F. H hero, we'll call okay. that horseman. Uh, just completely get, get rid of it, or FH yep. horseman. Horseman. Yep. Horse M A N like that. Yep. Okay. Boom. <laughs> spooky theme complete. This is super spooky, and it, it, it actually matches the uh, copy for, right? for once. It's never done that. It's never been good and and thorough. And this I just fixed it for you. So there you go. Uh, you'll get my invoice in the mail. Damn it. And uh, so you can imagine like using this technique to support like multiple brands. You could A, B test new designs uh, or like we've done here, you can you can implement very quickly like a temporary holiday theme yeah, um, and you, you can just swap out a CSS file to uh, to change between this and horse. So if we actually went back into uh, our template, we could just change that CSS file back to FH and it would go back to the regular. Yeah, where uh, is that? Is that, is that uh, that's in imports. Uh, towards, uh, sorry, includes. Includes. Uh, sorry, uh, not in spooky. Right no, 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 I made a spooky folder to grab stuff from. Yeah, right there in the base. Yeah. 
and then if you refresh it, we're back to it. Well, of course, we changed but, but the that, image. That, yeah, yeah. But wow. But, yeah. So cool. Man, thank you so much for showing us, just like like continuing to show us the power of uh, design tokens. It's just, that was way faster than that should have been, or or, or right. that I'm, I'm used to, right? Then like I'm used to like changing something across the site. That's just, that was great. Thank you so much, Mike. Happy Halloween, buddy. And...